Robert Hufford on Endotech Analytics. I wanted to chat a little bit about the upcoming listing uh, of futures on Bitcoin at the CME and the CBOE scheduled to start trading in a couple of weeks and what that might mean for the market. For sure, it's going to mean access to Bitcoin uh, price discovery, access to tens of thousands of people that uh, are on the sidelines right now. Uh, so they'll be able to bet on that price of Bitcoin, for sure. Access to thousands and thousands of people uh, is going to be available the uh, second week of December. Uh, and now you don't have to look very far on uh, webcasts or on the interweb uh, and predictions of what people are saying this is going to do to the price of Bitcoin. Uh, I saw a guy today said easy 20,000 easy 20, by the end of the year. We had the uh, ad taken out by the chair of Interactive Brokers cautioning uh, this move because Bitcoin could go to $80,000 and it would be limit up for 63 days and it could take down the clearinghouse. You know what, I, I, I have a hard time seeing that as a reality. Uh, but, and I also know this, that the CME is very, very good at, uh, at gauging and monitoring risk and they wouldn't just throw this contract up there without uh, serious consideration to the risk side. Um, but here's something that you have to keep in mind, that in a futures contract, for somebody to be long, you need the short side of it. You need somebody to sell it, all right? So who are the sellers in a, in a futures market? Well, there's the speculators and then there's the hedgers. One thing that I see as a problem from the get-go here is until hedging and true hedging is available, i.e. you have physical Bitcoin and you want to pledge that uh, as part of the margin for that short position, until all those things are worked out, the natural hedging selling that you will see in the marketplace, I think, uh, is going to be muted. That's going to leave the speculative selling. And let's not uh, underestimate the power of speculative selling. Uh, the ability to, to for the don't, I mean, you need the don't. You cannot get in a good craps game, right, unless there's the with money and the against money. And so far on Bitcoin, there has been very hard, uh, it's been very hard to be any of the against money on the price of this thing. So, yeah, you're going to have access to tens of thousands of new clients and client money. Uh, and a lot of people have been talking about everybody wanting to be long and exposed to this uh, sector. But there's also going to be... A sizable don't bet believe me there will be the don't bet uh, and we'll see how the chips fall out but this will be the first opportunity for people to really play the don't side of this market and uh, th you need both sides of it to be a vibrant market the other thing that is for sure is going to happen uh, as these things are listed and more than just Bitcoin is listed um, and they list options on these things you have a whole nother uh, window of analysis that needs to be done and something that the Pareto Network can address uh, for the blockchain investors is this whole other area that needs to be analyzed and content needs to be um, developed around what's going on in the futures and the options markets and Pareto is going to be able to supply that with content uh, providers that are looking specifically at futures and options uh, going on around the blockchain. So in a couple of weeks, uh, a lot more people are going to be able to bet on the price of Bitcoin to begin with. Um, and I am very uh, aware, I'm very aware of the power of the don't bet and what it, uh, what it can mean in leveling the playing field on the price discovery of this. I am not one of those that thinks it's just going to fly to $20,000 or $40,000 just because you have more people that have the ability to bet on it. Um, there is still real money involved if you take a long or short position on it and uh it's real easy to say i want to be long bitcoin but if you buy it at nine thousand and it's at four thousand dollars i'm not sure what that leverage what that's going to mean for your trading account and that's the real facts of trading futures all right you guys have a great week